Hello everyone. Today we are looking into a poll the Sun did. Now the poll said Megxit was the greatest betrayal to the UK in history. So we're going to be asking the cards because you know Monty Cito, Monty Chicho will be all over that article. We're going to look and see how the Dumb Prince and his wife feel about this. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to use two layers. I'm going to use the first layer is Harry's opinion of this story. Remember, it's a poll. The general public will vote in the poll. So it's a public poll. And then we'll look how Megzi feels about this story. Are we? Is the sun playing into their hands? Are they annoyed by it? Are they feeling it's justified? We'll let the cards do the talking. But before I begin, if you're new and you haven't subscribed already, please give us a subscribe. Thank you so much. And for everyone, can you share, like, comment, get my videos out there? It really helps my channel out. Um, so thank you. I appreciate you all being here. Let's get into it. So <laughs> the greatest betrayal in the UK, eh? I think it's a pretty good portrayal. I mean, when you think of it, Yes, Wallace and the Duke of Windsor did a fair bit of betrayal, but not quite as vicious and attacking as the Harkles have been. The choice to weaponize media against the royals, to smear William as an angry man, to smear Catherine and the King as racist, to attack Camilla as some Machiavellian overlord of the media, uh, and to paint the Queen as somebody who didn't have all of her scruples about her. And on top of that, to bully the Queen while her husband, her husband who she'd been married all of her adult life, was dying in hospital so i get why they got voted you've got completely i get that i completely get that but let's see how let's see if megzi and harry understand why the british people are a bit like your traitors because that's what the cards that's what the uh, that's what the vote is really isn't it a betrayal the british people think they're traitors how does harry respond to this oh well, the sun have definitely hit him where it hurts. He is annoyed, he is angry, and he feels like he can't control it. He is obsessed by every story that is in the tabloid media about him. And it really gets to him. This story has triggered him. He also doesn't like being called out for what he seems for his behavior the devil in reverse everyone can see what you're up to no one is surprised we are we are aware of your narcissism sir the six of coins crossing over so this isn't good for harry's charity he doesn't like being called a traitor, especially by his home country, especially to the com country he served. Harry is convinced that this is going to be affecting some of his charity endeavours involving veterans in Griftus. So straight away, that is a new point. The son of really like kicked him where it hurts. The Four of Swords is in reverse. And underneath is the Four of Coins. The Four of Swords in reverse. He is very like, well, it's not my fault. I was like, it's I, I inherited, I was born into this whole thing. He's going to go on about inheritance. If he, con if he discusses this, he may even say Britain is dead to him because of this, because of this poll. The four of swords, the four of coins underneath, sorry, 
suggests that he has a real issue about control. He really wants to control this. I feel like the media and indeed some YouTubers are trying, are trying to get the Harkles to buy at the minute. Um, and and it's so close. They are so close to bite in because he is just like raging about this. The four of coins underneath, he wants to get that control as he sees it of the narrative. Um, good luck with that. Ace of Wands is in reverse. So he has been planning something with the military, but the Ace of Wands in reverse, it's kind of blocked some of his plans he was really feeling some type of way he was wanting to do something really soon i feel like they've got a scaled back version of it coming out somehow with the ace of wands in reverse um it's definitely an issue and then we have the lovers in reverse and the five of swords Details, Harry. Details and the Queen of Coins. Okay. The Lovers in Reverse. Now, this card, the Lovers card, links to a Gemini. It is in reverse. So, Harry could well have a Gemini say something about this, say something along the lines that he is indeed a traitor. Now, there are a few world famous Geminis at the minute. You have got, on the political days, you've got President Trump, you've got Boris, you've got Xi Jinping. I don't think Xi Jinping's going to wade on into this. And you've got um, Jeremy Corbyn, but he doesn't, I don't think he figures. So it's somebody of note is going to say something about him. I fear one of the, it's either Boris or Trump, to be honest with you. It could be them because he's really not happy about the Gemini in reverse, really not happy about that. And it showed, I think as well with the lovers as well, we will see a further, further frosty relations with the monarchy. He is now worried about details and details and details and he's checking his facts and he's doing lots of scurrying around and the queen of coins the queen of pentacles is in reverse interesting enough the first lady of nigeria is a virgo that could be the very reason that this no no that's catherine i'm being told quite clearly that's catherine he thinks that this is just a bit like how he blamed their popularity slump on the Queen dying. He thinks Catherine's illness is affecting his and Megsy's popularity. Because Catherine is a Capricorn and she would come out as the Queen of Coins. What he wants is a new doorway to open. He wants something back. Okay. And a three of cups, there's going to be further embarrassment and talk of him later this year. He's blaming that British public for liking Catherine. And he thinks that it's because we've all got fondness for Catherine, nothing to do with his, his behaviour. He always blaming someone else. Four of Swords in reverse. I can't help it. I'm just a prince. Um, the Devil in reverse. Everyone can see exactly his game and exactly what he's doing now. The Four of Coins underneath. He wants to get back control. He really wants to control it. And when you can try and control something that much with that Four of Coins, it's really restrictive, you know? It's like they can't do much with it. Let's have a look at... Let's have a look at Megsy. How does she feel about this? Risk, a big risk. Okay, what you got on the 
Flanian and the King of Swords crossing over. Potentially a link in here with a politician. This could be Gavin Newsom somehow. The Fool is in reverse, so there's a big risk. So they're planning on doing something quite big. The Lovers in reverse again. A Nine of Wands boundaries. So she's going into like, oh, well, I've got my boundaries and I, th I feel like Megsy doesn't think the Atlantic Ocean's big enough to get her away from Britain and Ireland. You know, I think she'd want it to at least another thousand kilometres of sea to make her happy. Um, the lovers in reverse, I think there's going to be further splits within the royals. And that King of Swords, potentially a politician. Impatience. She hasn't learnt. She hasn't sacrificed anything. She wants to get on with something and push something through. And there's the Ace of Wands. I do think we are going to get something soon from these two. What's the time now? It's 10 past 6 in the evening in the UK. The Ace of Swords is in reverse. She wants to correct and tick off this article. She wants to say something about this article. And there's the King of Pentacles surrounding her. Harry, though, is getting the blame for this article, that which makes the Four of Swords come in and it in being in reverse, like, oh, it's just how it is just how everything happened to me, blah, 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 blah. That King of Pentacles, he's taken the brunt for it. She is wanting to start something new. She's potentially wanting to start to sue some UK papers. But let's have a look what she's wanting, to, what she's hoping to do. Influence, influencer life and the Four of Cups in reverse. Um, the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups in reverse. She's going to have to eat crow later this year. The Three of Cups in reverse. Um they are very, they are very kind of, I would say, what's the word? They are very, they're going to try and cause some gossip and ill will later this year. The lovers in reverse, I do feel like we are going to get a Gemini moment, but I also feel that with the lovers in reverse, that we are going to get further division and further separation from the royals so 2024 then the start of 2024 they said this is going to be our reconciliation yeah and they said the same at the start of 2023 there was reports in the press at both of them i don't get that i get further separation further distance and there's potentially going to be some further accusations so there we go that is what i see in the cards rather than around the betrayal makes these defensive She's going to get really defensive. The King of Swords, I'm expecting a politician type of person or an air sign to, to try and come out to their defence. I am expecting something from a Gemini, though, that the Harkles will not like, and that will be sooner rather than later. That is what I see in the cards, guys. Let me know what you want, what you see. Let me know if there's any readings you want me to do. If there's any other suggestions for readings, I'm all here for it. Thank you very much for being with me and watching this reading. And I'll see you all really soon for some more. Bye, everyone.